What's going on, degenerates? Six fucking strings there, because that's all you fucking need, you fucking pussies. This is my third try of making this video. <laughs> uh, today, debut video, we are talking about Defeat Tanty's debut release. I forgot what it's called. Uh, Prelude to the Tragedy. I can never remember these fucking albums' names. I mean, it's just a bunch of made up words, isn't it? Let's be honest. Let's be honest with ourselves here. Yeah, this is from the Defeat Sunny box set. Box set here. All their studio releases. Amazing box set. One of my favourite box sets I own. Really worth picking up if you're into cassettes. I know a lot of people aren't into cassettes anymore. I mean, they're a bit of a, what's the words, uh, obsolete format, but uh, I still find them really um, useful to use because they're so small, they're fucking classic, and let's be honest, uh, anyone who buys cassettes like myself is a bit of a hippie, and I'm a self-proclaimed hippie. <laughs> Honestly though, really, really worth it in my opinion. It's only about 50 quid, 50 quid with shipping. I don't know what it is in Yankee dollars, probably about, I could have tax. Okay, pick it up. Support the band if you're a fan. If you're not a fan, support the band anyway. Don't give your money to Mac McDonald's or Microsoft or whatever the fuck. I don't know. Hugo Boss, what do people buy these nowadays? Spend your money on something fucking useful, eh? Fucking pussies. Anyway, the album. I'll stop complaining. The first album. Probably their most obscure album. Or. Uh, Underappreciated is the word I'd use. Because honestly, I think this album doesn't get enough praise compared to the rest. I mean, if you compare it to the rest of the albums, uh, albums like Some for the More Abound, their best release, one of the heaviest things they've released, or you know, one of their later albums that are just insanely jazzy and over the top, like uh, The Sanguinary Impetus, how the fuck you pronounce that? Fucking Germans, eh? Uh, it hasn't got much going for it, if you compare it to them. It's very, very meat and potatoes. You could kind of throw it in with any other kind of suffocation influence, death metal. Although, I still think it has its own sound to it. The production isn't anything amazing. Uh, you know, you can't hear the bass guitar, obviously. The guitar tones, it's alright, it's fine. The cymbal work with the drumming is extremely good, very, very good. You can hear, you can hear the um, the jazz influence already. That's when one thing Fit Sanity are known for is um, the jazz influence, especially in the drumming. But you can already hear it on the first release, especially in the cymbal work. That's absolutely excellent. But I forgot to mention um, in the background we have. This gorgeous debut, Chronic Corporate Infest. If you haven't heard this, stop listening to Watch Enemy. Go listen to this, you fucking pussy. This will blow your balls off. This will also get you banned off YouTube. Fuck you, YouTube. Suck on. But yeah, back to the album we're talking about. Uh, yeah, um, I've looked on the talent, like, you know, the metal archives. And, uh, I mean, this album. It has about four reviews, and the rest of our albums have about ten reviews. So clearly, clearly this is the least talked about the Fitzsunny album, and that makes me sad. That makes me very sad because this album deserves way more praise. I think this is one of their best fucking albums. Honestly, I can see where people are coming from because, like I said, it's very, very meat and potatoes media. If you if you've heard a Suffocation album. Or you've heard uh, an Ibrassi album. You've pretty much heard this. Oh, it has its own sound, but it's in the same realm as that, you know. Very spasmatic riffs. You never know what the guitarist is going to play next. Uh, blast beats all the way. Low vocals, obviously. Inaudible bass. Although, the vocals on this album aren't as low as uh, other BDM albums. I mean, if you compare it to something like uh, Devourment, it's it's nowhere close to being as low. Oh, pardon me, come. <clears throat> uh, 
Uh, I mean, Defeat Sanity, Defeat Sanity, sorry. They have a new vocalist almost every album. So, um, if you're listening to this as your first album and you're not really a big fan of it, I wouldn't, I wouldn't write off the band totally. Because by the next album, the musicianship has been kicked up so much, even from this, and this is already insane. The vocals are way better on their other releases, in my opinion. That's probably the worst part about them, the vocals. They're not that amazing. Uh, the production gets a lot better. Better, that's my opinion. It gets a lot better on the other albums. Uh, I'll show you like a sec quick. Again, this is released by Grind Epic Records. Very nice release. They've done a really good job with this, I think. Very nice. Also, um, there aren't as many breakdowns on this album as their other albums include, and it's not as experimental. A lot of the songs really blend into each other. I mean, they, they kind of already do that in death metal already, you know, most songs kind of blend together because they're all composed of the same elements. Fast drums, growl vocals, heavy guitar. The bass guitar is just, I don't know, he's having a piss or something because you can't fucking hear him. But uh, this album particularly lacks uh, slams slash breakdowns, whatever you want to call them. If you're a deathcore kid, you probably call them breakdowns. If you're not a poser, you call them slams. Uh, luckily, this cassette comes with the lyrics. Some cassettes don't, and that pisses me off. Why not include the lyrics? It's not get, the ink can't cost that much. Come on. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, so um, if if you're not too much of a BDM fan and you're trying to get into Defeat Sunny. This might not be the best album to start with. Even though I say it's underrated and it deserves more praise, I wouldn't say start with this one. Because, um, like I said, it hasn't got as many slams on it and that's what people come to BDM for a lot of the time. If you want a BDM, sorry, if you want a Defeated Sanity album to start with, I would definitely say, just listen to some some more around. The musicianship on this is top notch. The production is top notch. You can hear everything clearly apart from the bass. He's having a piss again. I don't know what the bass is doing. Uh, there's a lot more. There's a lot more slams on here. The jazz elements are more prominent if you're into that. <clears throat> and I mean, um, I mean, this album makes Arch Enemy look like ABBA, and that's what I like to see. Fuck Arch Enemy. Uh, yeah, there's not too much to say on this album, really. Like I said, it kind of it, it blends in with a lot of other BDM bands, like Discord. It sounds a lot like Discord, actually. Inversity, anything suffocation influenced, really. Although I still think it's really, really underrated. It deserves more love. So please, go show this album some love. I don't even see any reviews for it online. I mean, the only other review I've seen for it is uh, by Julian Gonzalez. He done a good review on it. So I thought I'd give my two pence or two cents if you're a yank. Great fucking album. Underrated. Go check it out. Stop listening to Watch Enemy. <laughs>